Welcome back to week two. This week's presentation will focus on what it means to be overweight or obese and why this can be a serious risk to our health. We will also show you how to calculate your BMI and measure your waist circumference. Obesity is a medical term used to define excess body fat, which can cause harm. BMI, which stands for Body Mass Index, is a measure to see if you are a healthy weight for your height. In the UK, it is estimated to affect around one in every four adults. So what are the problems with being overweight or obese? Well, you are at a higher risk of developing conditions such as diabetes, stroke, heart disease, asthma, cancer, back pain, gallstones, and osteoarthritis. What classifies someone as being overweight versus obese is their BMI. BMI is calculated by dividing your weight in kilograms by your height in meters squared. A person is classed as overweight if their BMI is between 25 and 30. A person is classed as obese if their BMI is over 30. Let's work through an example. If I weigh 60 kilos and my height is 1.5 meters, my BMI would be 60 divided by 1.5 times 1.5, which is 26.6. As we have already mentioned, anything over 25 is classified as overweight. You can have a healthy BMI and still have too much tummy fat, meaning you're still at risk of developing the diseases associated with obesity. Extra weight around your waist means fat can build up around organs like your liver and pancreas. This can affect a hormone called insulin which can over time lead to diabetes. It can also contribute to high blood pressure, high cholesterol and heart disease. A quick way to assess this on yourself is to see whether you are apple shaped or pear shaped. Those who are apple shaped tend to have more fat around the middle which can put them at a higher risk of weight related issues. Those who tend to be more pear shaped have less fat around the middle and are considered to be at a lower risk of weight related health problems. In a moment we will demonstrate how you can measure your own waist circumference. All you need is a measuring tape and a pen to mark. You can ask someone to help you if you need. Mark your waist measurement today and make a note of it. You should aim to repeat this every six weeks and monitor your progress. Firstly, you will need to be standing. Then find the bottom of your rib cage and the top of your hip bone. Place a tape measure around the middle at a point halfway between them. This is usually located just above the belly button. Make sure it's pulled tight, but does not dig into your skin. Breathe out naturally and take your measurement. Take your measurement again just to be sure. You can now see what risk category you fall into depending on your waist measurement. As you can see, the numbers are different for males and females. Remember, this is not to your trouser or clothing size, so please use the exact measurement to see where you fit in. Obesity does not happen overnight. It develops gradually over time as a result of poor diet and lifestyle choices. Firstly, overeating. This includes eating too many foods which are high in fat and sugar, eating larger portions than you need, and eating more frequently than required. Physical inactivity. If you are not active enough, you do not use the energy provided by the food you eat and the extra energy you consume is stored by the body as fat. Genetics may also play a role in predisposing some people to obesity and therefore it is even more important to look after our health. The bottom line is that we put on weight when we regularly put more calories into our body than we use. Over time, that extra energy is stored by the body as fat. So what can you do? 
It has been shown that even just losing 5-10% to of your body weight can have significant health benefits. Over the next coming weeks, we will be providing support and guidance on how to gradually lose excess weight through small changes in your diet, managing your portion sizes, methods of fasting and regular exercise. So make a commitment today on what you would like your target weight to be and join us for the upcoming presentations. Thank you.